In this video, I'm giving you a straight up overview of the David Finch Monday Night Draw art book. This is season one. What's up guys, BJ Kicks here. I buy comics, I read them, and I review them, all for your viewing pleasure. If you're new here, welcome. If not, welcome back. Uh, if you're new here, you should certainly subscribe if you're into comics, art, hauls, all that type of stuff, because that's what we do on this channel. Now, I'm really excited about this book. This is the David Finch Monday Night Draw art book. Um, now, quick story time. Uh, when I got into comics, mostly it was because of the art. And one of my friends suggested I get into the artwork of Jim Lee. Cool. Jim Lee, massive superstar. Shame on me for not knowing who he was. But uh, when I started discovering the work of Jim Lee, I noticed that he had a Twitch stream and he would stream like at sometimes as, as uh, frequently as once a week, usually a couple of times a month. But he would stream and he would do these sketches. Sometimes he would do giveaways and all these other things. Well, uh, a little while back, maybe a year and a half, two years ago at this point, Jim Lee released an art book, like a deluxe hardcover containing all of the different sketches that he had done on his Twitch stream. And it was just a little bit too steep for me. I wasn't a hardcore comics fan. I wasn't spending a ton of money on books at that time. And I let it pass away. I let it slip through my fingers. But anyway, that came to be one of my bigger regrets as a comic collector. So fast forward a little bit. David Finch, who is another superstar artist, one of my favorite Batman artists of all time, decides he's going to start a YouTube channel in earnest about two years ago. And he does a weekly live stream with his wife, Meredith, called Monday Night Draw. Every Monday night, he picks a different character. He does a sketch. And it's amazing. Well, um, about six months ago, I said, they announced they were going to do an actual art book. So they put the book up on Kickstarter. And I was like, yo, I can't make the same mistake twice. I got to buy this David Finch art book. And man, I'm so glad I did. So you guys who did not back the Kickstarter, I'm going to give you a full on overview. You're going to see most of the pages in this book. And it's a real treat. If you can find this book, get your hands on it somewhere. Definitely do. But I've introduced it enough. Let's go ahead and get inside. All right. Trying a new angle on these overviews. Uh, let me know how you like it. But this is the David Finch Monday Night Draw art book season one, which implies that there will be season two, three beyond. So maybe we get more seasons. That would be dope. Just a quick look so you can see the size of this. Uh, it is about the size of a little golden book, the little engine that could green eggs and ham, whichever. Um, but I mean, it's basically just from what, about a year or so since he started doing Monday Night Draw. And then on about the anniversary show, they announced this Kickstarter. So definitely cool stuff. Boom. There you go. This page is signed by David Finch. Um, now, this did come with a bunch of extras like some uh, stickers and a pin. This is my Finch pin. That I got in the mail. So that's cool. Um, if I knew where the stickers were, I'd show them to you. Uh, here's one. Hold on. Boom. Nice Batman sticker came through. So, yeah, my room is a mess. But what else is new? So let's keep moving on. And right off the bat, you got this really cool Wolverine illustration and a Superman illustration. Copyright 2022. EssentialSequential.com, DavidFinchArt.com, and bang. Um, now, a note on the construction. I mean, it's a self-published book. I don't know who he got to print it, but I did notice that this page straight up like flew open. And you can see that ribbon. I don't think it's going to be an issue, but it is there. So there we go. Uh, but these are some paintings. I remember him doing like a series of paintings. I don't know if these were all the same night or like, a couple of weeks apart from each other, but these were like fairly recent from what I remember. Um, but yeah, we got more paintings. The fact that this man is like the draftsman that he is, like he can draw as well as he can draw and he can do stuff like this with mixed media, like painting. And that's just crazy. Uh, David Finch is one of my favorite artists to watch. Um, 
you know, and he kind of comes from that same sort of lineage, right? Like there's, you know, the Jim Lees, the Liefelds and so on. Um, and then I don't know why, but for whatever reason, I consider David Finch to be like another generation. Although he's made it clear, like he doesn't necessarily view Jim Lee as um, one of his inspirations. He views him as more of a contemporary. Um, because he kind of grew up on the same people Jim Lee grew up on. But when I see this, I see like, you know, a lot of cross hatching, a lot of detail work. And that like reminds me of the stuff that I love about Jim Lee. What I will say is I think David Finch is a lot more fundamentally sound when it comes to his anatomy. Like these people look like they could be real people. I think the gutter loss on this page is a shame. But man, that looks great. That's a great trinity right there. And I just folded the page. Sheesh. But yeah, I think David Finch is way more sound when it comes to the anatomy. And not for nothing, David Finch inks most of his own stuff. So to execute vision like that is just awesome like it's awesome uh fun fact while we're just thumbing through stuff uh sorry technical difficulty but fun fact uh jason or david finch is was the mentor to one of my other favorite batman artists specifically and that is jason fabak uh fabak i think it's fabak is how he says his name this uh black panther piece is dope i love this but yeah uh Jason straight up studied under Finch for a little while, um, as it were. And now Jason Fabric, you know, of Three Jokers fame. And he also did a lot of that Justice League New 52, which I just did an overview of. Uh, but yeah, now he's like a superstar in his own right. And you can definitely see the similarities in the style. Um, but man, I just love it. I love David Finch's work. The way he kind of works out of shadows and builds form. Um, also not for nothing. If you watch these Monday night draw streams, like he explains everything he does incredibly well. Like if I were a student, I would certainly want to learn under David Finch and not for nothing. I've watched a ton of these streams and I have picked up a few tips. I'm no artist. I don't fancy myself an artist, but the fact that he makes it so that you can follow along even being someone with no experience like me, that just shows that he's such a master of his craft that he could take the time to explain it to you. A lot of people can't do that. Jim Lee is good at that too. Um, I kind of got started in comics because I liked the art. And so I started out watching Jim Lee on Twitch. And then when David Finch started doing this about a year or so ago, I was like, I think I was one of the first like 4,000 subscribers. And now he's like way out of there. And it did not take him long at all. Love this Star Wars. Love uh, Darth Vader and the Boba Fett. No, this is the Mandalorian. Because you got Grogu here in the pocket. Love that. Also, Boba Fett's got like a little antenna. So I guess that's where we can uh, <laughs> differentiate there. Is this Skeletor from He-Man? And uh, which horror movie dude is the hockey mask? Is that Fred? That's not Freddy. Is it Jason? I think that's Jason. Jason Voorhees. I'm not a horror movie guy. Um, and then I can't even lie. I'm not sure who this character is. I believe this is an original character by David Finch. But I don't know. And I'm sure somebody will correct me in the comments. Here we go. Here's like a, a page of breakdowns, basically. Like, this is not full pencils. <laughs> That's his David Finch logo there. So this is obviously original characters too. So that's cool. Yeah, okay. So we got some work for The Walking Dead. I believe this ended up being a cover for The Walking Dead. But you can see like the, the layout page. And then when he took it to full pencils and inks. Look at the muscles on the back. Like David Finch is such a master of human anatomy. Like. I feel like David Finch has got to be your favorite artist's favorite artist. Like, man, everything just looks so good. And that's pretty much the book. Um, every week when David does these streams, David and his wife, Meredith, I think I should mention Meredith because she's an integral 
integral part of these streams. Uh, but every week, uh, there's like a book of the week that sort of inspires what he does for the day. Um, not that he like takes the, 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 like, he's, he's not like doing like references or whatever, but it's just like, hey, here's something that I like for this specific purpose. And he actually put that in the book, which is super dope. So if you're an aspiring artist, I highly recommend picking up this book. I don't know if he's making it available outside of Kickstarter, but get your hands on it, pay resale, do whatever you got to do, because this book is great, if for nothing else, for all these references. And I guess you could just take a picture of the screen at this point. Um, And so, okay, so these were the illustrations that were done. He had, it was like a paint off. So like he was painting while this other dude was painting. This is Eric Grove. And I don't know if Eric Grove was like somebody who was just a subscriber or what, but I remember watching this in a Walmart parking lot when he was doing these. Um, and then we got the special thanks section. So all the Kickstarter batter backers are here. And there's my name. I don't know why I didn't put BJ Kicks. I usually put BJ Kicks on Kickstarter. Maybe that wasn't given that option. Because it looks like everyone's got their government names here. I don't see any website shout outs or anything like that. And you typically see that stuff on Kickstarter. So they must have just like went government name. So there's the other half of that Wolverine image that I love so much. That probably should have been the bookend page, like this page. But I don't know. It's self-published. So maybe the printer they chose wouldn't do that. And that's the book. So... It's got an ISBN. I'm sure, I'm sure that he printed more than just the Kickstarter run on these. Maybe these might be a special edition, but it'd be a waste to like create all the publishing files and all that for an artist of this magnitude and not like make them available uh, for retail. So check with your local comic shop, see if maybe there's like something in Diamond for this. I can't imagine there being nothing for this going on sale. Uh, but yeah, go to his website, davidfinchart.com, I think is what it was, and see if this is available. This is an absolute amazing art book. Uh, it's Like I said, it's thinner than most art books that I have, and it is standard size. It's the same size as a regular comic book. So your mileage may vary depending on what you like, but I still think this is an amazing book. And I'm glad that I backed it. I backed it at the lowest level possible to still get a hardcover, and I don't regret it at all. All I kind of wish I had more money to get some of those extras, but hey, that's been the overview. I won't take any more of your time. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked this book. And hey, if not, that's cool. So you can always buy what you like. Uh, just make sure you read what you buy and be nice to others because kindness makes the world go round. Peace.